I'm Joseph Alira. It was one night that she woke me up in the middle of the night to tell me she was having some discharges and that we should go to the hospital. That's her doctor. Then I said, oh no, she should let's relax. Then tomorrow morning, if it's still coming, then we can go. So I think two, three days later, the doctor told us we don't have so many options remaining now because infection have set taken place and that if we don't take out the baby the chances of losing the baby through the infection is 100 percent but if we take the baby out now we have 50 percent chance of losing him and 50 percent chance of having him so we looked at the two options you don't take it out, you are waiting for it to mature, 100% chances of losing him. You take it out, 50-50. So let's risk on the 50-50. So that was when the issue of the preterm came in. So at about 9.30 p.m., I was told the surgery was successful. They said he was weighing 1.5 kilos it wasn't a good feeling and the reason was that the first pregnancy too was the same thing it was also an issue of preterm i think nine days down the line we lost the baby so this one being the second one and it was the same story uh, it was it wasn't a good feeling at all and anytime you try to psych yourself up and then you remember what happened before then you just leave everything to God. It wasn't easy. But thank God we had people around us that kept encouraging us. And that saw us through. But the feeling wasn't an easy feeling. I remember sometimes you get to Kolebu. I, you can't go to Niku. You fear to go and see the baby. So I just had to go and see the mother at the ward. She will ask, have you seen the baby? I will say yes. Meanwhile, I haven't been to Niku. So you, just, you just fear. You go and see him very tight. Like I said, he was at birth, he was 1.5. Two weeks in the incubator, he dropped to 1.3. And if you know what a kilo is, 1.3 kilo, a whole human being, then you can imagine the kind of fear we went through. Besides, like I said, the first case, he was even weighing 1.7. We lost him. And now 1.5 um, dropping to 1.3. You can imagine the kind of feeling we were going. See two babies in one incubator. The whole place is packed with just a few nurses. So you need to get closer to them to also get closer to your baby. So through that relationship and through that interaction, they also kept encouraging us because they have seen more. They will tell you, oh, somebody even came here, he was less than uh, 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 one kilo, but he was able to go out successfully. Somebody was just 1.1 kilo, he was able to go out successfully. They were one of the pillars that encouraged us. Besides, we had family and friends, and leadership in the church kept visiting us at the hospital, and they also kept encouraging us. So it was all angle. And our friends too will come, they will just they will talk to you. And like I, it, it, it's difficult. All these people will talk to you. But you leave there, you get back to your home. You sit down. And then you reflect on what has happened before. Then you realize that you just drop at once. But you need God to get you going. So that is how far. We have gone. It was practiced by only the mom. I didn't, uh, I wasn't given the opportunity to do it. And it was done at Kolebu. In, in, at the Niku, they have an inner unit of rooms where they, they accept the mothers in. It's inside the Niku. Uh -huh. So that is where they practice the kangaroo mother care. And then she did it for another one month. With that, they will introduce the baby to you. You spend like an hour, two or three with the baby. Uh, you, they have a way of tiring the baby on their chests. They will give you 
something like a, 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 a cloth. They have a style of tiring the baby on their chest. And then the baby spends an hour, two or three with them. Then they bring the baby back uh, to the incubator. In the morning you do it, in the afternoon you do it, and then in the evening you do it. Uh, at somewhere getting to the third month, the baby was now released finally from the incubator to her. They wanted to monitor how she will stay relate with the baby and how their health issues would be. So that one too was done for about two weeks after which we were finally discharged from the NICU. And then after the discharge from the NICU, we were visiting the NICU clinic again for another one year. So it was after when he was a year old. By the time we were discharged to come home, he was now, he was weighing around two point something. So by that time he was okay. Uh -huh. But then he was okay. He, you can now feel him, you can hold him up. Though he was still small, but you can still hold him up. Compared others who come, those who are seeing him for the first time, they will complain, oh, your baby is so tiny. But to us who saw him at birth until now, we saw him to now be very weightier. When we asked some few questions, why the kangaroo mother care? And they gave us two main reasons. They said one, for health issues, that the, the, the heat in the mom when he play, she places the baby on her chest will be transferred to the baby. And that one has its own health benefits it gives to the baby. Number two, it kind of brings bonding between the mom and the baby. So because of these two reasons, at that tender age or at that um, preterm status, it is a very good thing that every mom would have to do. And if uh, possibly fathers too can do it, why not? Because uh, it also creates the bonding. So if a, a mother and son or daughter can have a bonding, if a, a, a father and the son or daughter can also have that bonding. But like I said, you know, it, it needs a certain skill. Carrying of babies needs a certain skill. And at that time, they are very, very tender and very small. Even a normal bed baby, you need some skill to carry, let alone the preterm born baby. But if we practice, we can do it. So it is something that I will, I will recommend. It is, it is good because of the benefit associated. A family support. I think from day one uh, at birth at the hospital, my mother-in-law played a very good role. She was with us from morning till the night. My big brother was around. And then when we were discharged, my mother-in-law came around, picked them, they went home. So she stayed with them. Uh, she and the baby stayed with uh, the parents for about two months. By then they were now very strong. So the family support was so good. And I would advise all parents to avail themselves to go through it if the health facility have that kangaroo mother care thing. It doesn't take so much. You stay there for about two, three, four weeks and you are done. Apart from that, it also gives you the opportunity to ask questions with the health professionals on a daily basis as you now relate with your baby, the things that you would see. Because at that time, you are not gone home yet. Because at that time, they have released the baby to you. So you are with the baby, you sleep with the baby, you wake up with the baby as if you are at home, but still in the health facility. So if there are any challenges, you can ask those questions and get answers to them even before you get home. Remember the baby being in the incubator and you sleeping in the ward, it is two different things altogether. Good life, it's an everyday thing. Good life, live it well. Good Life from Ghana Health Service and Partners is here to make healthier, happier living an everyday thing.